Welcome to the Physics Classroom's video tutorial on reflection in mirrors. The topic of this video is the six-foot person problem, and we want to know what length of mirror is required for a person to view their entire image within a plane mirror. I'm Mr. H. Let's get started. Today we are discussing this question. A six-foot tall person is purchasing a plane mirror that will be hung vertically upon the wall. What's the minimum amount of mirror, length of mirror that's required for the person to view their entire image? It's multiple choice and your first choice is exactly three feet, half the height of the person. Second choice is more than three feet. Less than three feet is the third choice. And finally, the choice could be Nonsense. It depends on how far the person stands from the mirror. So give it some thought and then let's continue on and try to come up with a solution. A ray diagram is a conceptual tool that shows how light gets from the object to the mirror to the observer's eye. We can use a ray diagram to solve this problem. The process of drawing a ray diagram involves three steps. And the first one is you locate the image of the object. You measure out behind the mirror the same distance the object is in front of the mirror. You put down a dot and then you draw in the complete image of the object. The second step is that you draw the reflected ray along the observer's line of sight. So you line the eye up with the bottom extremity of this object and draw a reflected ray along that line of sight. Then draw the incident ray from the bottom of the object to the mirror at the location where the line of sight intersects it. If the object is an arrow, as it is in this case, you repeat the process for the top extremity of the object, drawing the reflected ray off the mirror first along the line of sight, and then the incident ray from the top of the object to that intersection point of the line of sight with the mirror. When you're done, you've drawn a ray diagram, and it's a ray diagram that we'll be using to answer the six-foot man problem. This background grid consists of squares which measure 0.5 feet along their edge. The person is represented by an arrow and is 8 squares from the mirror, putting the person at a distance from the mirror of 4 feet. And since the person is 12 squares tall, that makes this a 6 foot tall person. We're going to put an eye on this person up near the top because this person is going to use that eye to view the image of his object in the mirror. Or we will draw the image on the opposite side of the mirror, the same distance that the object is in front of the mirror, that's eight squares away. Now we're going to do line of sights from the person's eye to the top and to the bottom of the image. And then we'll look for where those lines of sight intersect the mirror, and that's how high and how low this person will have to look in order to view the image of him or herself. Now if I count the number of squares between the top dot and the bottom dot, it's six squares, meaning that this six foot tall person needs three feet of mirror to view the entire image. That's one half of the person's height. Wait a second, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, hold on, Mr. H. Don't try to rig this one me. I think that that's just a single data point, and if you move the object further away, you'll get a different answer. I swear the answer's D, not A. The answer depends upon how far the person is from the mirror. Well, I agree with you. I think we need to do this again, this time with the person, maybe eight feet from the mirror, like right about here. And we need to draw lines of sight to the image location, which is way over there. And we'll draw the lines of sight from the eye to the bottommost part of the image and to the topmost part of the image. And then we'll locate those two locations where the line of sight intersects the mirror. And that's how high and how low the person must look to view the entire image of the object. Then we'll count the number of squares. And it's still six squares. The person, six foot tall person, still needs three feet of mirror to view the entire image. That's one half the height. So we've learned that regardless of where the person is located, whether they are four feet or eight feet from the mirror, that the six foot tall person only needs three feet of mirror to view his or her entire image. And this becomes real evident if we take the two ray diagrams that we've done and we place them one on top of the other like this, we notice that whether they're four or eight feet away, they are sighting along the, a different line, but at the same point on the mirror. 
And that point, x and point y, the topmost and the bottommost point, remain the same for that six foot tall person who keeps their eye in the same position and is looking at their image that's on the opposite side of the mirror. Now we should ask, what about viewing other people? If you were to view the image of another person in the mirror, would you need an amount of mirror that's equal to one half of that person's height? And of course, we can answer this question with a ray diagram. So here's our person, and here's our image, and then here's our eye. And you'll notice this time, the eye is not on the person because we're viewing the eye is viewing a different person. So now we draw lines of sight to the topmost and bottommost extreme of that object, and we locate where along the mirror this person is sighting to view another person's image, and we count about two squares. Now we're going to move the person to another location, further away from the mirror, and we'll repeat the process with two lines of sight to the topmost and the bottommost extremes of that image of the person we're looking at, and then we locate where the intersection points are, and we count our squares, and we say, hmm, it's a different number of squares. So the question is, how much mirror do you need? Is it always half the person's height if you're viewing another person? And the answer is no. In this case, it does depend upon where you put the eyeball location in the person. It varies with distance. If you enjoyed this video, could you help us out with a like or subscribe to the channel or leave a question or comment in the comment section below. This page from our website was the basis for this video and if you need to do more reference, you can visit the page. We've left a link to it in the description section. I'm Mr. H and I thank you for watching.